What's up everyone? I'm the Devastating Just Cause and this is DJC Game Studios. Well, welcome to the show and we are talking more homebrews in television homebrews. Ever since I got that copy of D2K for my classic in television, that's right, the brand new Donkey Kong. This has two games, D2K with extra levels and the original DK Arcade, which was an improvement from the ugh, Coleco version we got back in the day. If you remember the Coleco version we got, it was green ape, it was slow, the jumping was awful, the little running guy looked like a paper boy, and it was only two levels, and there was no music. Just tones. Tone deaf, but the game was not deaf or fresh or funky fly. No sir. So let's jump into the original Coleco version and then compare it to the one they made of what could have been, how close and amazing it is to the actual arcade. And then there's some extra characters you can play in this. Check it out. So the first version of Donkey Kong made for the Intellivision was Coleco's version, uh, Coleco Presents Donkey Kong, 82. So this is when they were porting it all to all these systems, right? It was a big arcade hit. So here is the version they gave to us back in 82 for the Intellivision. I remember that. I have to turn down my uh, thing there. All right. Play. Let's play a game. Whoops. He always started on the second controller. He, he looked like like a paper boy almost. I, I don't even know what to, how to say it. Oh boy. <laughs> the, the barrels just got way too uh how do you like the green ape though that's that's my favorite is the olive green ape oh that didn't even that didn't even score there i keep forgetting i have to look at the other monitor because <laughs> there's lag in the one I'm gonna try, but this only has two two levels, so I'm gonna try to get. By the way, trying to get this hammer sometimes. Oh, it actually worked this time. <laughs> I used to be pretty good at this as a kid. There's also, check this out, I can stand over here and not get hit. There's a bunch of little glitches in this that I, I used to love to mess around with as a kid. Probably shouldn't have done that. There we go. No, I still, I still won. So you can also get... You can get on that glitch out in there, too. Isn't that crazy? I did a video a long time ago on the glitches in here. I thought the, other, the third one was going to appear. Oh, that was close. And then it just repeats. So that's that one. That is... That was Donkey Kong. That was the Donkey Kong we got. It just kept getting faster, pretty much. Now, let's check out the other one. Alright, now here is the Donkey Kong original arcade. The upgrade that we got recently... Or, well, as recent as 2012. When this first, there was many versions. I This is the double version that has D2K and Donkey Kong arcade. Uh, but like we're gonna we're gonna play the first one. Here we go. Great music, actual music from the arcade. Look the fi actual fireballs with fire.
actually plays like normal. Like the sounds, like the jumps are actually really precise. Well, pfft. I messed up. Look at Donkey Kong is brown with an actual monkey face. He's not a swamp monster or a giant frog. But just the simple, you know, if I had this, when I, I, I would have lost my mind. There we go. I'm like watch trying to watch on the other monitor. And the sound effects. Just what a, what an upgrade, right? Come on. That is just epic. The whole animation, everything. Do you ever see these for sale? D2K or Donkey Kong Arcade or um, DK Arcade. There was like three different versions that came out. A few different versions. These have been a special edition now. Snap it up. Buy it. Don't hesitate. Should have went when I had the chance. There we go. Got it. And this has all the screens in the correct order. <laughs> Still love that. Of course, this level. Oh no, I missed it! <laughs> what a great version, though. It's like I said, in 82, could you imagine having this close to the arcade on a console in 82? Oh my goodness, I just messed up twice in a row, guys and gals. But I just want to show you, there's also the cement factory part, you know, the pie making. I was going to jump that way, but... <laughs> But isn't it amazing? Like, these are some really cool feats. And I know, it maybe I'm late to the party for actually owning this, but but I just, just wanted to show off how great this, this game is. Uh, I'll be doing this on some of the homebrew shows as well um, and dive it into more. Um, you know what? Let's dive into a little bit more. Uh, let's let's check out the, D the, the regular one, but we're going to try a different character. So we're going to do regular Donkey Kong. But we are going to check out, we're going to do one player, but we are going to, Tony Bruno, I think it was Bruno, let's try Bruno. I was typing the 1981 in and I still hit pause. So Bruno, if I'm not mistaken, he can go up ladders with the hammer. How cool is that? That just puts a whole new swing on things, literally. Swinging a hammer. So let's see how this comes into effect, uh, using this a lot. I don't have to wait. Oh, 
I was gonna go get the other hammer. There we go. Oh! Now let's try a different character now. Let's do Tony. I think he can jump with the hammer. Which is which is something uh I mean it's it's just something different. So let's do Tony. Game one still. Yeah, he can jump with the hammer. <laughs> See, I think I think uh, Bruno was a little better because I think him being able to go up and down the ladders with a hammer is a little more helpful in Donkey Kong than jumping. Now, if you had a character that both could jump with the hammer and go up and down ladders, then, then, you're, then you're talking right there. Oh, I got hit anyways. He seems a little... Does he seem faster, too? No. I was like, I will not let that happen. Is his jumping just better all around? We'll find out. Playing with a little, little Tony. that help going back over that. So in some ways the jumping helps. Like I said, if you had a one that did both, then that's that's the ultimate character right there. Boom! <laughs> So I just thought I'd show some of this off. I thought these 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 versions are really cool. What a great cart. Well, there you go. Just another sample of what's great on this D2K cartridge. If you get a chance and see it out there in the wild or see it for sale in, on the Facebook forums, the homebrew sections, the television collectors, the and television revolutions, you make sure you get it. Pick it up. This is a great, it's a classic. Now, the original version of this came, of this homebrew came out in 2012, so it's been out there. Many different iterations have been out there, um, and all of them are just fantastic. I really dig this. And the cool thing is if you type in 1981 on the keypad as Donkey Kong's climbing, you can see there uh, it gives you some extra voice options on there as well. So it makes it really a lot more fun. Anyways, just thought I'd touch base on this again, and I'll be playing this more on the Homebrew Show as well. But before I go, I just want to let you know to please like and subscribe for more amazing and television content. Yes, and other stuff too. We'll see you in the next one. Look what I just found. Should I do a video on this?